In this video, we'll use statistics and data visualization in R to create a data science project to evaluate whether the television show Survivor is racist or not. Let's get into it. In season 42 of Survivor, there was a critical conversation surrounding race and its influence in the game. Just as the game had gotten to the top 10 or the jury stage, Chanel Howard was voted out followed by Roxroy Bailey, both of whom are black. And consequently, in the next tribal council, Fellow black contestants Marianne Oktech and Drea Wheeler seem to be on the chopping block, meaning that the first three people voted out of tribal council would all be black. To which Marianne and Drea responded with this. Chanel goes out, okay, that's fine, that's one thing. Roxford goes out, that's another person. I write Drea's name out, that's three black people in a row. It's like the same thing over and over again. Again and again and again. again, and again. And they continued to basically say that in survivor history, people of color are typically voted out quicker than non-people of color. And that's a fair claim, I have no idea, but I want to try to take this in and analyze it with the power of data. And luckily we can do that due to an awesome R package called Survivor, emphasis on the R. It's a package that is maintained by Daniel Oem, and it's incredible. This package basically has all the history of Survivor in as many ways as you could possibly imagine. It has contestant demographics, it has challenges, it has advantages, secret idols, it has the season watchings, the ratings, how many people are watching, the voting history. It has so much Survivor data, all that you could ever need, really. So we're going to use that data and the statistical programming language R to try to answer, is Survivor racist? Do people of color actually get voted out quicker on average than people of non-color? So I'm about to break that down and give you an answer, but just so you know, all of the data, all of my files, they're all available for free to you with a link in the description down below. It'll give you access to the R package, the data, and the code. So make sure you go down there, click the link, and while you're down there, why not hit the like and the subscribe button? That helps other people like you find my videos, and I'm very grateful for that. So I started off with a blank R markdown file in R Studio, and then I made sure that the Survivor package was already installed, as well as import that, as well as the Dippler and the ggplot2 libraries, which are used for data management and graphing respectively. Next, I had to combine the castaways and the castaway details table from the package to have the contestants' demographic fields tied to their result fields. I also did some dramatic simplification in the race fields that you know may or may not be exactly right, and that's part of the problem. I, I will fully admit that this analysis isn't 100% complete or thorough, and basically what I did was I just narrowed it down to four fields, white, black, Asian, and basically other. It's basically a combination of Hispanic, Latino, Native American. Also, these uh, demographics, I'm pretty sure were done by hand by the package maintainers, so they also could be potentially wrong. I then grouped by the season and by this cleaned up race and basically counted and, and figured out the frequency and was able to create this pretty cool area chart. Basically what this chart shows is the x-axis is the season starting with season one and going to season 42. And the y-axis is freak, which stands for frequency. And that's basically the percentage of that race in that season. So for instance, in the beginning in season one, I believe that it was about 82% white and I guess the remaining 18% was black. And those were the only two races. Then we have Asian races coming in and Hispanic races, so on and so forth. Note that it's actually important to compare this graph to what the actual race breakdown in the United States are, because there is more white contestants, but there is also more white people. And so we need to keep these proportion differences in mind. So there is on average about 60% of, of Americans are white. And so that should be the representative number in Survivor. And you can see that we're now at 50%, which is actually below the average. I encourage you to pause this and study this graph and compare these two proportions. But basically what I take away is Survivor hasn't always been race proportional with quite a bit of the early days having an over-representation of whites. There was a lot of under-representation of Hispanics and Latinos, except for those two seasons. Not exactly sure what happened there. And also Asians and Blacks have been underrated and they have been overrepresented as well. Now this graph does talk about race, but it doesn't address what Drea and Marianne were actually talking about. They were claiming that people of color are actually voted earlier out on Survivor than non-people of color. So to try to address this, basically what I did was figure out how many contestants are in each season because it changes from season to season. And I took the order that they were voted out in and I divided it by the count, the number of people in that season. What that gave me is what I call place. And basically what place is, is a representation of where you finished. Meaning if you won, you have a place of one. 
If you were last, you'd be place of zero. And if you were in the middle, you'd have a score of 0.5. I then made a strip plot with violin plots also to show the distribution of place based upon race. Now, obviously, there is a lot of purple dots, which represents white, right? But if you're looking for uneven patterns in the data somewhere, I'm not exactly sure that I see it with my naked eye. Now, you might be able to claim there is quite a bit of purple up here towards the top. And you might be able to say, wow, that is a lot of high white finishers, right? But it's really hard to actually make out that pattern, in my opinion. Now, I do want to pause really quickly and just say that I know race is a serious subject, and I also know that it's not something that we should take lightly. My entire analysis was done in about three hours, and I would love to spend more time on this, and I encourage you guys to spend a lot more time on this. Unfortunately, I'm doing 30 data science projects in 30 days, and this is the only time I had allotted for this project today. So I know this is incomplete, but please get the data, get the R file, and do better than me. So is Survivor racist? Maybe. But I don't believe that black contestants are necessarily for sure voted out faster than non-black contestants. But I can't say for certain, it's just my thought. I'd love to hear your thoughts. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, you're really going to enjoy this video I did yesterday about how to create AI-generated art in less than five minutes with no coding. Enjoy, I'll be back tomorrow with a new project.